What the hell are you doing in the trailer? Man. <sighs> yeah. What the hell, guys? We got some talking to do. Morning. What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher. Welcome on back to the garage. Come on in. Take your seat. We got a quick dirty in a hurry. Final take. Well, today we're going to talk about this bad boy right here. This is the Gavco Drop Collaboration Thresher. It is pretty freaking wicked looking as a knife and we need to get down and dirty ASAP now right now okay spec time uh designer is Michael Gavko uh does a lot of custom knives this one is a is manufactured by we this is a collaboration with him and drop uh drop is now known or at least a drop part of the knives are now handled by cavasil blade distance is 0 0.16 of an inch or four millimeter uh handle is 0 0.5 of an inch or so half 12.6 centimeters blade length is 3.6 inches or 9.1 centimeters uh, handle length is 4.5 inches or 11.5 centimeters. Overall length 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters. Weight is 4.7 ounces or 133 grams. And as I said before, it is a knife produced by we. Alright, so as I said, it's very interesting, right? It's an interesting looking knife. It's a... Uh, it's got this crazy 3D milled handle. It's got all these bumps, grooves, right? Kind of looks uncomfortable. Here's that uh, almost full length backspacer. Also milled crazily. Uh, only right hand carry. I do like the pocket clip. Goes in and out of pocket very easily. Does have a steel lock insert. Here is the drop logo on the pivot, but it is on the back side, not the show side. Uh, there it is, an S35VN. It is thumb stud. Its action is is really good, guys. Not gonna lie. Got the Gavco uh, logo right there, and nothing on this side, which is kind of weird. They, they put S35VN and Gavco both on the show side. Nothing. I would have rather them put maybe S35 on this side, or maybe Gavco. I don't really. I'm not big on billboarding. Uh, this is what they're calling a clip point Bowie. And, yeah, it's definitely got the clip point look. I guess it could be a Bowie. Uh, this thing comes super sharp, guys. The action is, it's actually phenomenal, right? Like, the detent is, it's, 
it's good. It's good. It's good. The reverse flick, no problem. You don't have to give it much. Uh, it flies out of there. Like, super, super, super good detent, I'm going to say. Really good action. I mean, you push that in. Uh, yeah, it's not drop shut by any means, but one little shake and she falls. So, okay, let's start with, uh, oh yeah, as you can see, inside, there's no milling. Well, honestly, this is not that heavy of a knife. It is a 4.5 inch handle. So the grip is, it's there, right? And believe it or not, this grip right here is extremely comfortable. It's shocking, shockingly comfortable um, because of the, the milling this way and this way, the contouring, uh, it fits just like perfect right there, right? You don't feel the clip. I, I, I mean, like you don't feel the clip, right? You only know it's there because there's a clip there. I don't feel it at all, which is crazy good. Uh, it's very comfortable here, but I've always been a choil guy, right? And I love this, this poon right here, as Kev calls it, the spoon. And if I had a choil just right here, right? Man, that would be wicked awesome. And I'll tell you why, because it's still extremely comfortable here. Yeah, you got a lot hanging out, but, oh man, I'm telling you, that would be wicked. Um... All in all, man, I've been extremely impressed with this knife, honestly. I didn't think I was going to like it. I definitely didn't think it was going to be comfortable. Um, it's all chamfered really well. It's not real sharp anywhere. There's no sharp points anywhere, not even here. And it kind of looks sharp. Uh, got a nice sharpening choil. I mean, that's pretty significant sharpening choil, which is cool. Uh, I do dig the blade shape, even though I'm not a huge clip point guy when it comes to folders. Uh, you, clip points for me are in more in traditional folders or fixed blades, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. It's grown on me. I do like the blurple effect with the blackout. Um, I think I would have liked all blacked out even better, but this is cool. Reverse grip. It's still very comfortable because they rounded this so you can get into those Friday night knife fights at the gas station if ne if need be, you know. Or just, you know, as normal people do, uh, they need it to stab something, you know, get into a tire or something. Now, this is a, a pass-around knife, so I wasn't able, I didn't take it apart. I really wanted to, uh, and I didn't, I didn't do any, like, hard use with it. Uh, I it's, it, certain pass rounds have rules guys it's totally understandable because it is not our knife right this is coming from the company gets handed to the group i believe that's how this one is and you know they ask that you don't take it apart they ask that you don't screw with it and i can see why you know there might be somebody that takes it apart and uh they really don't know what they're doing you know or you know maybe they do but everybody's got their day so is it sharp yeah i mean it's sharp guys and this is how it came to me and i'm pretty sure by looking at the edge that nobody has hit it i'm pretty sure that's factory i don't think with this pass around knife that you can sharpen them uh, so i'm pretty sure that's a factory edge and if that's factory edge that is that's that's sharp man like that's kind of impressive sharp it's like i said this knife will bite you and it'll bite you fast especially when you're when you're going to close that's why i'm kind of happy this almost flipper tab right it's just for the stop pin as you can see here but it could have been a flipper they could have extended that out a little bit and you could be like bam you know but it's cool because i i prefer it to be just a stud knife that way you can reverse flick it if you want all in all, this knife has been very impressive. Like, impressive to the point where not this one, not, not per se this one, but <clears throat> I almost wouldn't mind getting one of these permanently. Or not, well, not permanently, but in my collection for a while. <clears throat> so I could literally take it apart, 
put it back together, maybe do a little more hard use with it than cutting Safeway paper at. But all in all, man, I the ergos on this is what really impressed me the most. Uh, it does suck that it's only right-hand carry, right? Um, and i tell you why. Like, you're missing a market when you make a design like this, right? It's, it's good. A lot of people are going to look at that blade shape and they're going to be like, man, that is... That's sexy, right? But it's not for me because I'm left-handed and I can't carry it other than that. I could have just got myself there. I didn't. Kind of the downfall. I like the length on the clip. I like the shape of the clip. It goes in and out of pocket great. Uh, I believe they're using it as an over-travel stop as well because of the way it's pronounced. Like, So you can't push the lock bar too far. Um, yeah. Lock up on it, eh, it's it's a little early-ish, right? But it's completely solid. Like, there's, this is wood underneath here. Oh. No, it didn't pop. Um, I can't beat on it, guys. It's a pass-around knife. But I haven't had a problem with the lock up. It is a little early. It's about, oh, I would say you're probably getting a solid 20% there, maybe. But very good and pretty impressive honestly like i said i didn't think i was going to like this at all uh, i was almost positive it was going to be the most uncomfortable thing i ever held but it's not it's it's really good really really good on ergos just wish it had the the choil and then you could be up here in the you could get up there like that but it's not as comfortable because you're kind of like this is really comfortable right here right like you don't feel clip at all zero zero clip no hot spots no nothing um yeah so let's get back to the top and we're back and, yeah gafco thresher man a honestly kind of an amazing piece really it's kind of like a little bit of artwork with really a lot of comfortable i mean it's it's just when you put it in your hand like this it's hard to say that this is not a uh ergo dream it is semi ergo dream i mean it's not the most I've ever had in my hand, but dude, this is good, right? Crazy good. And I, I'm kind of, the more I've had it, the more just I dig it, right? I just dig in the straight more, the uh, the handle, it, it's got that. I never had a problem with the overall, like it overall, it's kind of fantasy looking, right? Like. I like that part about it because I, I don't know, I just do. Action is spot on, honestly. Detent, I don't think you could get it any better than this one is right now. Um, the lockup, I think the lockup could be a little bit better, honestly. Uh, the drop emblem on the pivot is pretty subtle. So if they did put it on the face side, I'd be okay with that. I don't like the Gavco emblem being all over the blade like that, that big. I would like to see it smaller, maybe up where the S35VN is right now. And then put the S35VN on the other side. Um, and you got to make it, come on guys. I mean, this, this, I know this is an older knife. It really is. It's been out for a while now. But, I mean... It shouldn't even be a question. For the last, like, 50 years, we should have been put... That clips have been around. Not been 50 years. But, you know what I mean. I'm exaggerating numbers. But, honestly, anytime there's a clip on a knife, you need to make it reversible. I get that some knife makers are saying, Hey, it's my work of art, you know. And this, this is kind of an artsy-looking piece, in a sense. But... Let's just say that people are buying it because not only because it looks cool to them, but functional. You're missing a pretty big market. Not going to lie. When 
you don't make it lefty carry or lefty friendly. And when it's a thumb stud knife, it can be lefty friendly, okay? Now granted, it's not the most lefty friendly knife, right? Because it's it's a it's a frame lock. Right? You got a lock here on the frame and then and when a lefty uses that you know, if they're thumb flicking, it's fine because they're not going to be on the lock bar at all, right? But let's say they want a middle finger flick, right? The only reason it's fine is because that clip is long. It's long and big. And what I did there was I put my thumb on the clip instead of my thumb on pressure on the lock bar. So that's one of the things, the reason I like the clip, right? Honestly, whoop, failure is because it makes it easy for a lefty to open this knife uh, with a middle finger flick, which everybody wants the middle finger flick. But because you can't carry it left-handed, it's kind of a downer, right? Like, it, the knife has to be so good right-handed, like, so good usable left-handed, but that, that they don't mind carrying it in a right-handed position that's kind of thing now i know i've had a lot of a lot of people respond to me about clips and stuff saying hey thrasher us lefties are okay with it for the most part we we were forced to learn righty or we learned righty or whatnot and have not that's awesome man and i i get it i do i'm not out there trying to be a warrior for you guys and win a battle for you guys but my overall goal is to always bring as many people into the hobby as possible um every time i meet somebody that's not really a knife person by the time we're done talking they they consider being a knife person or they want to check out knives after they've checked mine out and if you get new new people new lefties into the into the knife world right they're not going to be keen to buy this knife right off the bat because it's not lefty friendly right off the bat it's it's a righty knife and for us righties, it's an awesome knife. I'm not going to lie. This thing is pretty wicked. Um, though I'm not downing it in any aspect when it comes to the actual knife. I don't know how much work it will do. Uh, i probably pretty sure it's going to do pretty good. The tip does, it does come down to a pretty fine tip. Um, I would be interested in hard, hardwood down throws to see if it bends, breaks, um, but can't do that. Anyway, guys, my thoughts on the Gavco Thresher drop, uh, collaboration, I think it is made by Wii. It's, if you're right-handed, man, and you like, like the looks of this knife, uh, it is worth the money. Yeah, this. I think it's like 169 bucks right now, or when I seen it last, might be 200, but it's worth the 200. It's it's better than most Wii knives I've had in my hand, but most Wii knives I've had in my hand have reversible pocket clips. Just saying. Uh, yeah. Do I wreck it for right-handed? I wreck it for left-handed. Uh, you got to know what you're doing, and you got to be willing to carry it right-handed. That's kind of the way it goes, right? That's that's the situation we're in with the Gavco Thresher. Um, huge shout out to the Apex Fast Round group for, you know, sending it over, letting me check it out, man. I really enjoy uh, that we can do this. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Get out there, do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy by making somebody else happy, guys. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. I will see you in the next one. I can't wait to see you in the next one.